What is steel pipe? Let's talk about steel pipe and why it is important. Steel pipe has been in production for over 200 years. It has the following uses. To extract water or gas from the ground, to transport water or gas, to transport fire water, and to support buildings and bridges. The elements we use to describe the size of a piece of a steel pipe include outside diameter, nominal pipe size, wall, schedule, and weight per foot. Let's look into each of these further. Let's start with the outside diameter, also referred to as the OD. Outside diameter is the distance of a straight line passing through the center of a piece of pipe from one outside rim of the pipe to the opposite outside rim, as you can see in the diagram. Nominal pipe size, or NPS, is a number approximately equivalent to the outside diameter of pipe. It is used as a reference for pipe size in the steel pipe industry. Pipe wall thickness is the distance between the inside and outside diameter of the pipe. Different than the schedule, which is expressed in numbers, the OD of each pipe size is standardized. Therefore, a particular nominal pipe size will have a different inside diameter depending upon the schedule number specified. Pipe weight is most commonly referenced as weight per foot. The formula to calculate weight per foot is outside diameter minus wall times the wall times 10.69. Here we can find the standardization of the dimensions of steel pipe, also known as the pipe chart. Let's break down the pipe chart further. On the x-axis of our pipe chart, we find the pipe size, which refers to nominal pipe size, our OD, which refers to the outside diameter, and our schedule, which refers to the schedules of nominally used walls as defined by ANSI. The key on the top of the pipe chart lets us know where to find the wall thickness and the weight per foot, which is highlighted in green. Although you can calculate pipe weight manually, there's a more convenient way to do the calculation using the Kelly Pipe mobile app, PipeSource, available for download for Android and iPhones. Let's move on to pipe specifications. Why do we have pipe specifications? They put the buyer and the seller of pipe on common ground. Pipe specifications assure that the pipe both sold and purchased meet the mutual expectations of those involved, and it serves as a quality guide. Pipe specifications include the method of manufacturing, chemical criteria, testing standards, dimensions and weight, inspection, and certification. The chemical composition and mechanical properties of pipe are defined by grade. Pipe grade can also be used as a barometer to determine what application pipe can be used for. Three common pipe grades are ASTM grades A and B, API 5LB, and X grades. Grade A includes 1 8 inch to 26 OD welded pipe. Grade A pipe can be used for home plumbing, sprinkler lines, water transmission, and structural engineering. Grade A pipe is made at a lower chemical and mechanical standard than grade B pipe. It is made to be used in low pressure, low impact applications. Grade B pipe includes 1 8 inch OD, welded or seamless pipe. Grade B pipe can be used for municipal water, oil, and gas lines. Grade B pipe is made to a higher chemical and mechanical standard than grade A pipe. It can be used in higher pressure applications and can withstand greater stress. API 5LX grades include 1 8 inch OD and up welded or seamless pipe. It can be used for oil and gas transmission lines. API 5LX grade pipe is made at a higher chemical and mechanical standard than both grade A and B pipe. 
It is made for use in higher pressure applications. We ask that when you are ordering steel pipe, please alert us if you have any other pipe specifications, including country of origin, approved mill list, or import first domestic pipe. Now let's review different types of pipe manufacturing. CW, continuous weld or furnace or butt weld. ERW, electric resistance weld. SMLS, seamless hot finished or cold drawn. SAWL, double submerged arc weld, also known as D-saw. SAWH, double submerged arc weld, also known as spiral. Note that D-saw pipe has a longitudinal seam, while spiral pipe has a helical seam. Common processes for welded pipe include ERW, electric resistance weld, and SAWL, also known as D-saw, double submerged arc weld. ERW pipe is made from hot rolled coil, while SAWL or D-saw pipe is made out of hot rolled plate. Here we can find what defines ERW pipe. Common specifications for electric resistant weld pipe include ASTM A53, A135, A252, and A500. Common uses for ERW pipe include construction, piling, and plumbing, oil, and gas transmission. The following defines SAWL or D-saw pipe. Common specifications for SAWL pipe include A252, API5L, and X. Common uses for SAWL or D-saw pipe include piling, water, oil, or gas pipeline. Now that you've learned about welded pipe, let's move on to seamless. Seamless pipe is often used in critical applications where corrosion or high pressure is a concern, such as pipelines. Seamless pipe is made from a solid steel billet. Because of the manufacturing process, seamless pipe is normally sold at a higher price than welded pipe for the same size and grade. Here we can find what defines seamless pipe. Common specifications for seamless pipe include A106B. Common uses for seamless pipe include industrial water pipelines, water, oil, and gas transmission. Now that you understand how steel pipe is defined, let's discuss pipe processing services offered by Kelly Pipe. These include threading, shot blasting, grooving, cutting, and beveling. Kelly Pipe also offers coating and lining capabilities, including FBE fusion bonded epoxy, many different types of wraps, and galvanized pipe. Threading, the process of threading the ends of pipe that will be used to join the end together with a coupling or phalange. Common uses for threaded pipe include municipal oil, water gas. Shot blasting, the process of removing a surface layer of material from pipe. This, for example, could include paint, mill lacquer, or rust. Blasting pipe often precedes other processes like epoxy coating. Grooving. The process of adding a groove to the end of pipe that will be used to join the pipe together with the coupling. Used in common applications like field irrigation systems, sprinkler systems, and heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Cutting. The process of cutting pipe into desired lengths. This can be done using saw cuts or plasma torch cuts. Beveling. The process of forming an angle on the prepared end of a piece of pipe. Both angled ends are then welded together. A normal bevel is 30 degrees. Coating and lining. Coating, an external application, and lining, an internal application, are used primarily for pipeline corrosion protection. 
commonly coded at the factory or at a third-party applications, or installed in the field with protective coatings or wraps. A common coating type is fusion bond epoxy coating, or FBE, commonly used for corrosive service. A common lining type is cement lining, commonly used for water transmission. All orders of steel pipe will come with an MTR, a material test report. An MTR certifies that the material purchased conforms to the stated material standards, dimensions, chemical, and physical specifications. MTRs also include the measured result or a statement indicating that the steel passes the required standards. It's a birth certificate for a piece of pipe. Here is an example of a mill test report. Let's break down each section to further understand it. Under the vendor, you will find the name and address of the manufacturer. Here you will find who the manufacturer sold the pipe to, as well as the internal and external references. The report will include the specifications the pipe was made to and or the multiple pipe specifications it also meets. The heat number is traceable to the pipe stencil. This ties the physical piece of pipe to the MTR certificate. Testing results include tinsel, yield strength, hardness, and other pipe characteristics. Some reports have areas for supplemental testing as required, as well as additional notes and comments. Each mill test report certificate should be certified by the mill's chief of quality. To quickly touch on the quality control procedures, quality control happens at the manufacturer or the plant. Governing bodies ensure quality control. Governing bodies. Governing bodies operate through committees of producers, users, and general interest groups. The published specs, therefore, represent a consensus viewpoint of all involved. Certifications and licensing. Both API and ASME inspect mills. Qualifying mills pay a licensing fee to certify material to their specifications. There are a few widely used governing bodies that help define the specification and pipe grade for steel. Some of those are ASTM, ASME, and API. Let's dig into some of these governing bodies further. ASTM, American Society for Testing of Materials. These specifications are used for all types of applications, particularly construction, heating, and plumbing. API, American Petroleum Institute. These are used for oil and gas applications. ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, used for industrial manufacturing of pressure vessels, power plants, and etc. AWWA, American Water Works Association, used for water transmission. CSA, Canadian Standard Association. And NACE, National Association of Corrosion Engineers. Now to explore certifications and licensing. ABS, American Bureau of Shipping. While there are no specific specifications, the pass or fail verification comes from a third party. UL slash FM, Underwriters Laboratories and Factory Mutual, mainly for fire and sprinkler industry. NSF 61, National Sanitary Foundation, specifications for safe drinking water. Now that we have successfully covered how pipe is defined, the processing capabilities offered by Kelly Pipe, and reviewed the governing bodies that ensure quality control, the last thing to summarize is what to think about while you are placing an order. What to think about while ordering. Pipe size, wall thickness, end finish, surface finish, length of pipe, grade, method of manufacturing, import versus domestic, country of origin restrictions, 
an approved mill list. Here's an example of how to place an order with Kelly Pipe. Hi, this is Jane Smith calling from XYZ Pipe. I am looking for some 4 inch nominal pipe size standard wall plain N 21 foot grade B ERW import pipe. I also need the pipe shot blasted. There is no AML requirement for this order. We hope this presentation has thoroughly explained the basics of steel pipe. Thank you for listening and remember, Kelly Pipe is the ultimate source.